Professor Lau, thank you very much. 25 years after the handover, President Xi Jinping came to Hong Kong and he said that one country, two systems is here to stay. What was his message and who do you think he was speaking to? I think the uh, uh, fundamental message is really that one country part is permanent. Okay, you know, it will always be one country. Okay. Uh, but two systems will continue for as long as the two systems are good for both China and Hong Kong. There's no ending date as long as the two systems turn out to be good for both. But it's also a commitment that the central government will do whatever it takes to make sure that the two systems will work. And I personally think that this commitment is much more important than any verbal guarantee of the longevity of the two systems arrangement. Right? It's really the commitment to make the two systems work. Do you think that message was directed to the people of Hong Kong at this time or more towards the international observers who have been saying that one country, two systems has gone or is going? No, I think actually it's a, it's a message for not just the people in Hong Kong, of course, that is, you know, the primary audience, but also to people in China, in greater China, okay, that this is going to continue, but also to the Americans, to the British, to the rest of the world. And I think the basically saying is that we'll make sure that Hong Kong will prosper under this one country, two system formula. But because it's this one country, it's none of your business. So I think that part is clear. You use the word commitment, which is a powerful word. Right. Do you think that commitment is enough to reassure people and a local economy that is in decline and in a city that is losing its global talent? To me, social stability is the basis for any economic development. Okay. If Hong Kong had continued as we were in 2019, you know, we would have been in terrible shape today to have uh, people occupying campuses, making bombs, <laughs> throwing Molotov cocktails around. It's terrible. What would you say to a young person today in Hong Kong who has the skill and talent to succeed in life, but who still feels that they are being left behind? by the progress elsewhere in society. They really ought to um, think back or go back to the times of their parents and perhaps grandparents in the 50s, 60s and 70s. Lots of Hong Kong people worked extremely hard, struggled. And at the time, I don't know if James you've heard, but there would be a whole family of eight living in one bed space. And that is how that generation to manage to overcome the challenges. Young people in Hong Kong, they still have the talent and the skill, but they need the will and the patience, just like their grandparents and parents to succeed. It's, it's not just how smart you are and uh, or how many, what skills you have, it's really the will to succeed and the patience to carry it through. Now, I think it's a little bit of a failure of our educational system that we really have not imparted those important attributes, important qualities. You are one of those people. You were born in mainland China. You grew up in Hong Kong. And of course, you had a successful life in America as well. What do you remember of that childhood after moving to Hong Kong and the will and the patience that you describe? At the time, around 48, 49, we had a large number of visitors. And it turned out these were refugees. They would come in our home, some would stay for days, some would stay for weeks, some would stay for months. Did you know them or were they random guests? I didn't know them, but my, my parents knew them. Some came with a lot of money and then lost it all. Uh, in some sense, a very difficult period. So people had to think of something new. And that's really where the light industries 
began to be developed. You know, plastic flowers, knitting, and so forth. And, and I think the uh, young people ought to go back and look at that period <laughs> and to understand how their parents and grandparents struggled and succeeded. <laughs>